a lot of surfing pipeline. It, it doesn't matter what era or decade, it's just consistency. And he built this house there. He lives right there. And so he lives, eats, sleeps, breathes, shits, pipeline. That's, that's where Jamie's at. Jamie O'Brien has entered a whole new, higher level with his relationship with the pipeline. I think the reason that I chose Jamie as the overall performer this year was just his consistency. He was, he was out there at the break of dawn, he was out there in the evening, heavy drops, deep barrels, and um, just his, his commitment, no matter what the conditions were like, is super impressive. Yeah, Jamie's winning wave was kind of mind-boggling, really. It was one of those pipeline waves that it was maxed out on the first reef. Really, you can't get a much bigger wave on the first reef than that, a pipeline. Gets his fins in the face, gets connection, makes a drop, and just gently pulls that rail and gets under the lip. His positioning, his commitment, how gnarly that wave was, how late the drop was. At free falling down the face and then he was crazy deep in the barrel and just rode the thing perfectly and then it was like a, you know, the spit shot him out like a cannon. And then comes blasting out the end, you know, just this cloud of spray. He made the job really easy for the judges this year. When I rode that wave and I thought about the judging, I was like, Sean would like this from A to Z critical, gnarly, late, foam ball. Wrist factor. I felt like that. This is the wrist factor. Thanks, dude. Right, Appreciate guys. you. Right on, you guys. So every time Pipeline turns on, I live right in front of Pipeline. So I'm like trying to like figure out the right moment to paddle out, the right moment to execute. And every swell this year, I felt I was really on time. I was just taking my time and like trying to figure out the right time. and. I had so many amazing rides this winter. It's been one of the best winters of my life. And you know, getting older every winter, you're like thinking like, oh man, the younger generation might, might be like really hungry for it. And I was just really stoked and astounded to hold my place in the lineup and surf with the best of the best and come out on top. It's a dream come true. You know, we knew that we were gonna pick a wave of the decade, and I had all winter to think about that. As far as the wave of the decade, it, the, the judges, we all kind of had different, different waves winning. remember Reef just getting this absolutely perfect backdoor wave. I think the thing that really stands out about Reef's wave that really stands the test of time is just there's very few rights on the North Shore that are that big and that heavy and that gnarly. Probably one of the best waves ever ridden on that part of the reef, and reef got it. Reef's wave always stood out. It always kept coming back, you know? And when he took off, there wasn't a drop of water out of place. It kind of didn't even break on the first reef. It kind of doubled up, but like gave him a little tiny chip shot. That wave mutated into a gnarly double up on the first reef off the wall. And just his positioning, how deep he was, how late he was, 
how the thing just flexed on the whole reef was the same. Giving reef the uh, wave of the decade was uh, really an easy decision for me. Reef Macintosh's wave of the decade wave is standing the test of time. It was 100% a life-changing wave. At the moment it wasn't, but it was a personal life. Like, that was an amazing wave. That was like a Todd Chester type of wave. And I, you know, I, I won the backdoor shootout that year. And I was like, oh my God, best winner of my life. I won the backdoor shootout, are you kidding me? And they're like, you might win wave of the winner. I'm like, oh yeah, well, I don't even care about that. I just won the backdoor shootout. And then sure enough, at the airport, there you guys all were with the check. and. I won Wave of the Winter that year as well, so it was a, you know, a double whammy for me. When I eventually saw the footage, I was like, yeah, that was pretty special. For me personally, it was special. I mean, I don't know how everyone else feels in the world, but it was super special to me. And obviously here we are nine years later and it's the Wave of the Decade and who would have thought? Thank you, Four Oceans and Surfline and O'Neill for creating this award. Great timing, wave of the decade. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Drinks on you. Pardon? Drinks on you. It does. Hell yeah. Woo! I know. I gotta carry this thing around all night, right? As far as the women's category for for Moana Jones, she's untouchable, and this is her category, and she's earned this spot to be in in it, and. I think she's about to blow everybody's minds and imagine when she gets the one because she's out there, she's hunting, she's friends with all of us um, and we know she'll go so you know when the opportunity presents her itself I feel like Moana is going to be on that wave. I really feel it. Chianka, Jiao Shinka. That's what's great about having a breakthrough performance of the year is it doesn't necessarily have to be a local kid, it can be a Brazilian kid who comes over here and sleeping on someone's couch or whatever, and he's committed to surf pipeline. And it seemed that he had gotten a bunch of waves as, as far as uh, what came across our, our computers and the clips. He was easily, from what I could tell, the breakthrough performer of the year. 